There we go. Up. Okay, how's that? Can you hear me? Yeah, all right. I need to get a new cord here. Hold on. Okay. No, nope, that's okay. It's still in there. Maybe I should tie it around there. Yeah, maybe that's a good choice. Anyway, uh, happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Baldur's Gate Part... What is this? 13? Something like that? No, 11? I don't even know. But we're still in Act 1. Of course, we're still in Act 1. I was almost at the point where I was done with Baldur's Gate just because the plot is moving so slowly. Which, you know, that's the kind of game it is. Um, that doesn't mean it's bad by any means. It's a great game. Uh, it's just moving really slowly for me. But we made progress last week, and so I'm inclined to continue again today. We'll see how far we can get towards <laughs> moving towards Act 2. There are a couple of things we need to do. We need to go to the Arcane Tower. Then I think we need to go back to the Grim Forge. And then that's it. Then we can go to Moonrise Towers, maybe? Maybe? We'll see, that's the goal. It's wonderful to be live on Facebook today. Hello there to Harold J, Toby Noble. Good to see you guys as always. It's a thrill to be live on Twitch. Good to see you, The Wiz 453. And it's wonderful seeing all of those brand new and returning Twitch followers with all of your sparks and lovely comments, extremely kind. And of course, it's great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Sean Fernango, Alt Grendel, Mr. Virus, Salati Bartfast, Clell Biggs, Sebastian Sanchez, Finger Feet, Ant 444, Bingo Bill, not Nick Skinner. And it's Alt Grendel with the first super chat of the day. He says, We all figured your thumbnail is jazz slash blues piano ox horn. Mr. Virus says the song is too loud. There, I'll pause it for just a minute. Yeah, it is really loud. That title music is just extremely um, vibrant. Vibrant. Anyway, uh, b jazz and blues, is that what it is? I, you know, I like a good, uh, a, a good blues jazz. You know, it has to be a particular type of jazz song for me to like it. I think that jazz is just so similar. I mean, I suppose that's the point of it being a genre. Uh, and yet, uh, I do like blues. I like blues. Mr. Virus says Grand Theft Auto Five Oxhorn. Is does he look like a Grand Theft Auto character? <laughs> This AI thing is just ridiculous. I, I, it's the exact same prompt, too. I just click it over and over and over again, and it generates a completely random and wacky version of myself every single time. So God knows what's going to happen next time. Uh, Mogster on Twitch says, Good morning, Ox. Thank you for being you from one bearded gamer to another. Thank you very much, Mogster, for coming. Uh, NCFL says, why is your stream skipping? It doesn't look like it's skipping on my end. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. I've got a solid green light on my monitor over there, and I think I'm good to go. So that's not on my end. But good to see you, NCFL. And good to see you, Carmox Stream, as well. NCF4L says it was a minute ago. All right, well, um, I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't keep on skipping. Eclipse says, you can blow through Act 2 in no time. Did it on my second playthrough. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily want to blow through all of the acts. I want to, you know, fully enjoy them all. It's just I feel like this one is just really b belabored. It's where we're trying to get to Moonrise Tower, and I feel like every time we attempt we attempt to, we get sidetracked by something, which isn't, again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I know that many people love that sort of thing because you can get lost and immersed in the world and you can build up your character. But in terms of the primary plot of the story, I feel like it's stalled. It really hasn't made a lot of progress since we crash landed on that shore. 
<laughs> like, like we haven't really learned much about what's going on, and that's kind of what I'm interested in, and I'd love to see if we can get to that point later on in today's broadcast. But we've got these um, magic turrets that we've got to somehow get through, and uh, we need to get to the Arcane Tower, and then I think we need to get to the Grim Forge uh, for Carlac's heart. Is that where we're going to tackle her heart issues? I'm not sure, but we avoid, we skipped that because Chad said at the time that I needed to go get Nair's head, which we did. We got Nair's head, uh, and uh, then I think that means we can go, we can now go to the Grim Forge. And then hopefully we'll be able to get to Moonrise Towers. That's the goal. How, how much of that we're going to get done today? Probably not. We'll probably take five steps today, and before we know it, four hours will be over. NCF for L on Twitch says, I've been watching you for like a year and you're great at making a lot of different content. Thank you, NC for or F for L. I appreciate it. I like to keep things diversified here on the channel. So the plan is at the moment that we will have a broadcast Thanksgiving evening. Um, I am hosting a big dinner here at the house, but uh, all of my guests will be gone uh, by late afternoon. Uh, and uh, then the kids are going to go visit their moms, which means I'll have the house empty. So I should be able to get a live stream going on. That's the plan for now. I'll let you know if those plans change. And I am working on a lore video for the weekend. I was not optimistic that I'd get one done in time. However, I kind of uh, put the, how does the phrase go? Put my nose to the grindstone? Whatever that means. That sounds bloody. Put your nose to a grindstone? Doesn't sound very good. But that's what I did, apparently. And I, I made a lot of progress. I have all my audio recorded and edited, which means all I have to do is the video editing, which typically I can blow through pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that I can get a lore video done for you for the weekend. And it might not be Starfield content this week. So cross your fingers there. Uh, as for the charity uh, streams, I'm planning on doing a charity broadcast this year like I do every single year. And I'm thinking not next week, but the week after next is when I'm planning to do it. So if you plan to make any uh, charitable donations this year and you're looking for a good cause, St. Jude's is an excellent cause. We raised uh, $12,000 last year. We raised uh, almost $14,000 the year before that. I'm really hoping we can cross that $15,000 mark. This year, that would be great. And I'm planning to do a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday broadcast. And as you know, I, dr I have a variety of different games that I play. During my charity live streams, I try to spice things up and do something new, something that we don't always do. So if you have any recommendations for charity live stream games, now's the chance to send them my way. I'll be reviewing all of your comments and all of your messages. Uh, I already have a great list. Many people said, uh, well, I got a, a couple of uh, requests to see my Valheim build. I, I do every now and then play Valheim. And so I've got a couple of things that I can show off there. I play Satisfactory a little bit. I could show off my Satisfactory Factory. Aside from that, I've got a long list of charity games that I'd love to be able to play. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Golden Hurricane says, sorry, there was an ad. What is St. Jude's? St. Jude's is a hospital and research center. They're trying to solve the problem of childhood cancer. That's right. Uh, a big problem. And so the kids of St. Jude's definitely need as much as they can get. The Wiz on Twitch says, sorry, but this being off topic on Starfield, when you pick up weapons, you get the extra ammo. When you're at a safe area, drop the weapons, but keep the ammo. It does add up fast. Thank you, The Wiz 453. I struggled with ammo earlier on in my Starfield playthrough, but I have since, um, you know, I've got so much ammo now that I haven't really struggled with it. I realize that you can keep the ammo that's in the clips of the weapons, but the reason that I don't really do that is just because it takes time to then sift through my inventory and find the weapon that I picked up and then drop it. It's not a lot of time. It's just not something I really want to deal with right now. Alt Grendel says, how about Grand Theft Auto 5 for the charity stream? Maybe. Maybe I'll have to add it to the list. Julian Z says, uh, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Boulders Wednesday. Hope you're well. Can't wait for the Thanksgiving stream. How's your turkey prep going? Hope you're seasoning. 
Uh, my turkey prep is going well. I'm following a recipe that I found online. And, you know, this recipe says don't brine your turkey. Don't, you know, soak your turkey. Don't season your turkey or anything until you're ready to actually cook it. So I'm following the instructions of this recipe. It's got thousands of people who liked it, so it's supposed to be a good recipe. Plus, the turkey that I got came pre-brined, I guess, so I don't need to brine it myself. Yeah, I'm just going, I'm going to, I've got a, a, a garlic herb butter. I'm going to butter it up. And then I'm going to chunk a bunch of fruit inside of it with maybe an onion. Maybe a carrot too. I don't know, just something inside. I'm going to put a bunch of fruit and veggies inside. And then I'm going to tie the legs shut so they can't escape. Because everyone knows that when it comes to an oven, an apple tries to escape the thighs of a turkey. I don't want it to escape. So, buttered turkey, says Von Rick. Yeah, don't you don't you herb butter? Isn't herb butter a thing? Fruit, says finger feet. Why is this shocking to you? Yes, you just, it, ap apple smoked turkey is, just chuck a bunch of fruit and onions inside with a little herb butter on top. It, it's flavor. I mean, I can't tell it because I can't, I can't smell. I, I lost my sense of smell years ago in my childhood, so I don't know what I'm doing in terms of smell, but it looks good. Colorful fruit and veggies inside a turkey. Throw it in the oven for a couple of hours. Actually, it's going to be more than a couple of hours. This is a 25-pound turkey. And I, I did some reading, and I'm going to have to have this thing in the oven for five and a half hours. Holy cow, I'm going to be getting up at, at four in the morning to, to put this thing in the oven. This is, I can, I don't, the person who has to cook the turkey is just, it's a lot of work. A lot of work for the turkey. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I did it a couple years ago to raving reviews. My family loved it. Now, I'll do it again. It'll be fine. That turkey wasn't necessarily this big. I, I don't know why I picked the biggest turkey. Because people don't even like turkey, do they? People eat turkey on Thanksgiving just because it's Thanksgiving and you have to eat turkey. But people don't really like turkey. People eat ham. People like ham and they like pie. If you just had an entire Thanksgiving dinner of ham and pie with maybe a little bit of mashed potatoes and bread, any kind of bread, usually a roll, people will be satisfied. They'll, they'll, they'll take a slice of turkey just to say that they've had it, you know, a, a token piece of turkey. But of all of the meats that are left over after Thanksgiving, it's always the turkey that's way too much because nobody eats the turkey. No one really wants to eat a turkey. A turkey has to be done really, really well. No, I love turkeys, says Clell Biggs. Really? I've made two turkeys. The first one turned out great. The second was too dry. Well, maybe I've just never really eaten a delicious turkey. Well, I, I bet you I'm going to be doing it great. I'm going to make an amazing turkey. Uh, Clell Big says, you can't fool us, Ox. We know you're just trying to get that St. Jude's bag of swag. Are they giving away bags of swag? Well, they, they, send, me, they send me a gift every year, uh, and I don't. it changes from year to year. I think I got a backpack, a St. Jude backpack. <laughs> One year for participating in, and I gave it to my kids and they like it. And then I got some like buttons and, oh, this. Yeah. I remember, remember this. Yeah. They sent me this. I think I talked about it last year after the broadcast. I showed off everything. It's been sitting on my desk ever since then. They, they decided that for, for this, this year's, this coming year's broadcast, I'm going to need this. Well, I, I don't know, but it's exciting. It makes noise. And everybody who plays video games, they like colors and noise. So according to St. Jude, this is how I'm going to be keeping your attention during the broadcast. I've got the St. Jude play live button thing. It's going to be fun. Don't worry. We're going to have a great time. Again, not next week, but the week after is when I'm planning to do the St. Jude's uh, charity live streams. Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let me turn the music back on. Ranker1138 says, the new turkey trend is to deep fry it in bacon fat. Yeah, this is going back to what I said. No one wants to eat a turkey. They want to eat bacon, right? They would rather have ham. So to make a turkey palatable, 
You fry it in bacon fat to make it taste less like turkey and more like ham. Bacon. I believe it. I totally believe it, Ranker. Okay, dear God, how am I going to get past this section? I've got these freaking turrets, these arcane turrets. And when they hit you, it, it really sucks. What if I could summon a wall? Could I summon a wall? I've got two turrets. I've got one there, and I've got one there. It hasn't spawned in yet. Sparrow says, uh, hey Ox, since you don't have a sense of smell, you do you not wear deodorant as they do in France? Listen, I might not have a sense of smell, but I'm not a barbarian. Also, are there any French people walking right now, watching can, right now? Can you confirm that French people don't wear deodorant? Because I think that sounds like a stereotype, and I'm not going to promote stereotypes. Stereotypes on the program. I'm sure that French people wear deodorant, Sparrow. We're, let's not be condescending here. Um, but no, deodorant isn't for yourself. You don't wear deodorant to avoid offending yourself. You wear deodorant to avoid offending other people. And I live with other people. So, of course, I wear deodorant every day. I think every adult does. What kind of question is that, Sparrow? Yes, I wear deodorant. Can I ask any more about my, my bath habits? Sparrow, do I wash my hair and beard? Yes, I do. Any more? All right, let's see. I need a good spell to get past these things. So let's let's check out Gale here. Which way to the nearest library? Fireball gaseous form. Transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud. What if what if I turn everybody into a gas cloud? Can we be attacked if we're a gas clouds? Or what if I, can I summon a smoke cloud? Like a cloud of smoke that can make it so they can't see me. Okay, well, Barty Horn well has all of my scrolls. Not as bad as it could have. Fire shield. Scroll of animal friendship. Vonrek says, wow, swell swag from St. Jude. I'm sure that button was designed to keep the baby at bay. Hope your turkey turns out great. Sounds like you have a good plan for the massive beast. I have been mentally preparing for it. I think I've got a good plan. All right, hold on a second. We've got, um, oh, the Great Furnace of Grimforge. What's this? Did we read this? Raw mithril ore and a proper mold. Oh! Oh, we picked up a bunch of molds in the uh, in the Underdark, in Grimforge. Place the ore and the mold into their respective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product. Well, we didn't get any mithril, did we? Scroll of aid, blur. Misty Step, Vampiric Touch, Speak with Dead, Hideous Laughter, Good and Evil, Grease, Dark Vision, Animal Friendship. Is that it? Can I not summon like a big cloud? Shatter. The problem is that those turrets are resistant to everything but... Uh, there was, what was it? Ooh, arrow of transportation. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. Will that only work on one character? It'll work character by character. Conjure minor elemental. Conjure a minor elemental demon to fight alongside me. I mean, I could, uh, I could summon an elemental to, you know, get aggro. It was lightning damage that, that worked, right? Right, so while I'm behind this pillar, I can't be attacked. 
I could try to sneak past it and get up here, but then I become under fire from that turret. And then as soon as I get onto this landing, that turret's gonna turn around. So... Von Rex says, Oxford, remember those anti-magic flowers from the vine area? Oh, yeah. Vaguely. I don't remember what they did, though. Last 10 turns. of a ballet, a land shark. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Just go invisible. Great. Oh. It only works once. Okay. Do I have any potions of invisibility that I can use? Potion of healing, look, okay, let's sort by type. Antidote, oil, potion, sharpness. Accuracy, diminution. Featherfall, vaulting, speed. Those are all arrows. Blind a creature. Okay. I could blind a creature and scroll of blur, but that requires concentration, and that does not. Okay, let's try to blind it. If I could sneak up behind it, what is this? You can't blind an object, says Chad. Okay. Can I blur an object?
lovely day, this. For now. Well, he's the only one who has an attack that actually works. It's the lightning attack. They gain two lightning charges? What does that do? Try that. Will that allow me to shoot lightning? If I get a lightning charge? Smoke will work, says the chat, but I don't see any smoke spells. I don't see an ability to summon a bunch of smoke. Cat5 says you can just run past them. There's a way to turn them off in the basement of the tower. Oh, okay. Sparrow says, are you saying, Ox, that that's those who don't wear deodorant are savages? I smell controversy brewing. Just kidding, Ox. Much love to you, sir. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Sparrow. Maybe I just run for it. Oh, Blade War doesn't last that long. That's not working very well. Never Just run out. through it, says chat. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's not working very well. What path lies before me? Turn off turn based? Oh. I mean, it's working. We're getting through, but we are just getting decimated by these guys. Ready and willing. May it please, Mr. Wow. 
Wow. Gale is done. Gale is dead. This isn't this isn't a good strategy, guys. <laughs> this isn't a good strategy. I mean, it would be better just to just to kill him at this point. It would just be better to kill him at this point. I'm not going to lose Gale again. Why is it that Gale is always the one that dies? Okay, I've got an idea. Invisibilis. Salutations. Adventure awaits. These burrow holes have all the markings of being dug by bullets. There's trouble afoot. Kill it! Why does it still say 17 of 17 if I destroyed it? Okay, that I think that worked. But I wasted another lightning on that, which I shouldn't have done. Okay. Well, I think I know what to do now. There's not going to be a way to line them up, is there? Probably not. All right. Well, I can get one down by doing the invisibility trick, but then I'm going to have to get the other one. Can I get around behind it? Well, we can see if we can get around behind it. All right, what now? Evanescence. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Let's explore. Markings are being dug by bullets. There's trouble. Oh, Lord. I got him. So that's progress. Should mind my step. Well, my day just improved. Oh. Did you want something?
Bellet, a land shark. Skybreaker, one to four damage, and then silver ingot. Do I need any of these ingots for anything? Let's get the bronze ingot. Letter to year. Organized by latest. Dearest year, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls, I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been. If only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be, uh, I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited. I waited until Tarsac. I'll always wait for you. But you didn't come. Oh, that's sad. Why didn't he come? And what's that? It's a grave, I guess. Okay. Well, we got past the stinking turrets. There's a rib cage up here. Can I get to that? And a skeleton. Oh, no. Hello. Hello. We've got a back door over here. And we could probably jump along that to go around. The big question, though, is why? Why would we go around the arcane tower instead of going up through here? Let's do a quick save. Oh, dear God. The wizard's tower is his sanctum. Private place for research and respite. But as this wizard's not home, I say we take a peek. Oh, that's why. Oh, dear God, that's why. <laughs> We've got turrets on the inside. Oh, man. Oh, turn them off, says Chad. Uh, there's a way to turn them off? Well, not in this big room. Ooh, what's this? Iron candelabrum. That's not a switch. Well, maybe I have to go below. Okay, I gotta figure out a way to do this. Uh, let's separate the party for now. Oh, I could go for a good meal. On my way. Not enough space. Oh, I can't jump down here.
Well, I, I guess I can't get up onto these pipes. Cat5 says, in the basement, Ox, you go out the left door and then all the way down. Uh, yeah, I can see that, but I'm going to be in tar uh, line of fire of that arcane turret. This left door? Okay, well, I can't go around the outside, so... If I'm going to have one person do this, I need to make that person invisible or triple jump distance. You can jump slash teleport to the mushroom, says the chat. No, I can't. This is path interrupted. I wonder if I could use the arrow of teleport. <clears throat> oh, 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 look at that. Okay, 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 I see it. Hold on. I think I got an idea here. Okay, I could go down, but I don't see a way back into it from down there. So what I want to do is jump over here. Well... That worked. Ah! Ooh, but I got hurt there. Okay, where's the switch? That's an elevator. How do I turn off? I don't see anything in this room. Hmm. Recipe unlocked. Sublimate tongue of madness. I have to go down further, says chat. Okay. Any food I find is going to be rotten, won't it? Yeah, so I don't want to take food from here. Now, we do have this door. Looks like there's nothing impressive out here. A light, but no wick. Gotta be a trick here. Help Omilium investigate the parasite. Oh, it's the spores. 
Sprouting Timask. Do we attack the Sprouting Tim Timask? Right, by looting those spores, we got a quest update. A threadbare book. This threadbare book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has been lost to time, vermin, and an unfortunate ink spill. Only two full sentences are distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Yawn. <laughs> Gone. She did not like that. All right. Um. Journal. All right. Uh, find a cure. Help Omelium investigate the parasite. We found some Timask spores. We'll need to bring them back to Omelium once we find the Tongue of Madness. We found the Tongue of Madness. We'll need to bring it back to Omelium. The tower belongs to a cleric of Mistra named Lenore. She is fond of gardening and experimenting on plants. To help us, Emilium requires the Tongue of Madness and some T-Max spores. Okay, so we've got what we need to help work on that cure. Let's bring it back. Well, we will bring it back in a minute after we finish exploring. Hello. Okay, well, let's go down to the next level. Yeah? Oh, God, how? Oh, our pride. Run by magic. Wonder if I can get it active again. If I jump down there, I'm gonna take damage. I believe I have a scroll of Featherfall somewhere, right? Misty Step. Okay, let's give that to Carlac. We're down here now, yay! Oh. Dear God. Minus three HP. Should have done this with Gale. He can cast Misty Step, but then he didn't have the athletics, I don't think. Uh. Potion of Featherfall. I don't have my whole crew here. Maybe I'll worry about that pipe later.
Oh. That's what it's for. Crap. Shatter, let's see. I could give him, or I could give her the mask of the shapeshifter, but it's a pipe. Did I use the wrong person? Who's got the gaseous form thing? Mage Hand? Yeah, I don't think I have Mage Hand on Karlak, though. I've got Color Spray, but not Mage Hand. Right. I'm gonna have to use a different character. Um, I've got the Arrow of Transposition. That would get me across. You have my attention. These things have stayed interesting. Time to press ahead. That's right, there was something over here I needed to dig up. I almost forgot about it. Stinking cloud create a cloud of gas so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking action. <laughs> so, yeah, I could try picking the lock with Karlak, but she's not my lock picker. She's probably gonna fail. Can I just like beat it down? But no wick. Gotta be a trick here. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I can do that. That works, yay! <laughs> a little bit of, ooh, a lever. What did the lever do? Did it shut off the things upstairs? Laculite, Sylvan Stone. Recipe unlocked, Essence of Sylvan Stone. Rotten chicken eggs, ew. Oral histories of Faerun, Gith and Mind Flayers. Did we read this one? This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. I think we've read this. 
Actually, no, I don't think so. Chapter 4, the Palador, or Palador the Swift, 700 years of age, wood elf storyteller hailing from the Wood of Sharp Teeth. It took me several ten days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palador felt comfortable. Wait, no, we did read this. Okay, and there's the hole. So that's what the hole is for. So we don't need to worry about getting in that way. All right, let's see. Night Nightlight Frond. Dragon Egg Mushroom. Treaties on the anti-magic properties of Suser Tree Flowers. The anti-magic properties of Suser Tree Flowers by L. D. Hurst. For those knowing about Suser Trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above, the ways its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesized that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties, and that use the magical absorption of Suser Tree flowers as a power source. Lines have been drawn on the following pages, as if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Alt Grendel says that the lever. Uh, Alt Grendel says the chat says that the lever opens the doors, not turns off the turrets. Oh dear. Okay. Well, looks like we still have to figure out the mechanism that turns off the turrets. One second. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Uh, the Annals of Baldur's Gate, the history of Baldur's Gate as told. Uh, I'm gonna collect it just in case I don't already have it. Withered Blue Petal. Power generator. 
power generator plus something equals what? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Magic of the Weave, an introduction. So many books today. I think we've read that one as well. just disappeared for a second there. Okay. chest. E uncovered mysteries. Detect thoughts. Cool. Right. Um, well. Oh, still nothing. So we need to get this machine working down here to get the elevator working, but I'm more concerned with the turrets, and I still haven't found an option. Okay, so power generator. We need to burn something. Power generator plus what? Maybe it tells us in one of the books that we picked up. A treatise on anti magic, we read that. Uh, magic of the Weave, an introduction. Few try to understand the Weave, a true pity, for only they who are truly attuned to the Weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Thus comes the question what is the Weave? It is an essential element of the universe. It runs through, every, uh, through everything in unseen threads. It is what makes magic possible. It is also, though I will not go into further detail here, the goddess Mistra herself. See Magic of the Weave, Mistra, and the Spell Plague. The Weave isn't magic precisely, rather, it is the raw material from which magic is woven, not entirely unlike how a collection of threads is shaped and formed into a garment. Those with the necessary talent and skill can manipulate the Weave and perform magic by casting spells. Developing this skill takes years of learning and constant practice. You might have heard of those who can cast spells because they're born with an innate connection to the weave, commonly called sorcerers, or worse, because they struck a bargain with an otherworldly creature, also known as warlocks. Do not be deceived. Their magic is unpredictable, uncontrolled, and in some cases, not even rightly theirs. No, to truly un know and manipulate the weave is an art. But those wizards who master it will know the limitless power and beauty the weave provides. Okay, that didn't give us anything. What about some of the stuff we've collected? Can we use it as a fuel? 
for this thing. We've got withered blue petals. Do we put the withered blue petals here? Uh, how do we how do we put a pe a petal there? Do we gotta drag it onto our inventory? Can't use that. Oh, I see. Invalid combination. Check the garden outside, Ox, says chat. Yeah, that may be what I need to do. That looks like some sort of fuel. Anti-magic field. Oh, okay. And that's how we turn off the turrets, with an anti-magic field. Uh-oh. I failed a survival check over here. Got monsters on top of the tower. Well, we did it. Can't give up now. Yes. These boots have seen everything. Teleported down here. 
I was opening a crate. I was in the middle of opening a crate. What? Okay, I already looted everything here. Uh, Alright, I need to loot the floor above. And I looted the floor below. Okay, hold on. Okay. I looted everything here. I looted everything here. All right, this is what I was currently looting. Gale is inspired. Secrets of the Sister Tree. Uh, what? Disable an arcane turret using a Susur flower. Okay. Alright, well now he's inspired. That's great. Broken machinery... The cogs of this metal contraption are bent out of shape, the steel sheeting dented and cracked. Still, you can make out two sets of initials embossed onto the copper, LDH and YTS. Alchemal solution. I, I think this is important. There's another one. It's got initials on it. That's important. I don't know why. Dusty book. The beginning of this book proudly declares it to be a play by Dame Inia, followed by an extensive introduction and 23 pages of notes on the text. Though the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza is encircled twice. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake, it tramples everything. We kill the rest so that the one can thrive. Okay, so we've got a problem. There are monsters on the top floor. And we can take the elevator up a floor. Ooh, hello. Chest of the mundane. There's a weave radiating from that chest. Radiates from the chest. Scroll of magic arm of mage armor. Oh, I have the magic touch. Yes. Contents changed. Ah! 
Aha! Okay, we got some good stuff there. I see, so we had to disable its magic in order to loot it. Seek and you shall find me. Onward. Very well. Okay, it's empty now. Still breathing, despite everything. With haste. Okay. So we can ascend, but we've got the Susur flower in Karlak's inventory. And that'll prevent Gale from casting magic. Soldier. So let's drop the Susur flower for now. And then we need to heal Gale. My faith will guide me. Potions, potions. Uh, I've been feeling we're going to be getting into a big fight. It's got three. Can I split? Okay, everyone's got at least one potion now. We no longer have the anti-magic shield, but this means we need to cast all of our buffs again. And uh, I can't... last two turns until a long rest. Increases armor class by two. Let's put that on. Well, he's already got mage armor. Let's put that on Shadowheart. Does it work on more than one? Works on one person. All right, that lasts two two turns. Ten turns. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Looking ahead. Let's go upstairs and see what's there. I'm going to do a quick save here. I think we can go up an even further floor. Wonder if the gods are watching me.
alchemical ingredient. Makes a diluted oil of sharpness. A word fang. Elixir of bloodlust. And gold. Lots of notes here. All right, let's start over here. Torn out paper and careful art of Tyru's ciphers. This stone disc is carved with circular runes and pictographs. An engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. Okay, well, that'll come in handy. Like on a Git Yankee crash, and then a torn out paper. The writing on this torn out strip of paper is shaky and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? To the gray. From Barakure we made our stand, meant to rule but led astray by wicked tentacle and wicked hand. This world belongs to the gray. Orindal stole all we had, yet taught the weapons which uh, by which to slay. Forge your minds to ironclad. This world belongs to the gray. The exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away, crush every monument into finest sand. This world belongs to the gray. Trade your heart for steel intent, for with whip and mind we flay. Let them all hear of our descent. This world is nothing but gray. Engraved Githyanki disc. Such a strange disc. Are these Gith Yankee markings? Lazelle might know. Cool, we'll have to talk with her. We've got two now. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Gith Yankee writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Using the cipher you found, you might be able to reveal the disc's meaning. All right, we can command the disc to reveal its secrets. We can use the cipher we found to decode the symbols. We can uh, pass an investigation check to seek a pattern in the writing. It's a 20 out of 20. <laughs> Not gonna work. No. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. You should take the disc to Lazel. She might know more about it. Von Reck gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Von Reck, and congratulations to Anonymous, his divine shadow, Stephen Harfum Fox, Ben Kulig, and Thermakias 1980. Thanks again, Von Reck, and congrats to all. We can now try to use the cipher we found to decode the symbols. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc. And from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gake shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Flacketh seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew Flacketh's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one given how expertly it was encoded. 
Lazel will surely want to know of this. Interesting. Cool. Well, we'll we get to know more about Lazel's history, which is great. Oral histories of Faerun, Gith, and Mind Flayers. Why do I have that circling me right now? This book comprises several chapters. Oh, we read this already. In this tower itself, wow. Torn out paper, we looted that. The roads to darkness. The roads to darkness, an epic tragedy about power, corruption, and loneliness. Prologue, a lonely end. I'm sorry, a lonely road. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Enter Soreth. Soreth. New sounds through damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foe, that foul contemptuous heel? Or are that friend a rescue from my lonely wake? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Enter Raiza. Raizia. Raizia. How would I know? How would I know, Soreth? It's been so long. What do I know of you and you of me? Wait, do you hear that sound? Enter Emphius. What's this? Those figures so familiar both, but still you seem so strange. It's Emphius. Dear Emphius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. Your eyes are black as shark. And you? I saw your teeth. They're sharp as blades. And what is with this road, so slick with blood? What happened here? What happened to us all? Exude. End prologue. Act one, ten years prior. The rest of the play tells the tale of three elven friends, their paths to power, and how, corrupted, mad, and lonely, they killed each other. Wow, like reading that. Roads to Darkness, is that what we just read? Yeah. Then we've got a handwritten letter. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bulette? Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bulette is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amarith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the, autum the, autumn, the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. What is a bulette? All of the uh, companions had something to say about a bulette when we arrived here. Are we gonna have to fight one later? All right, we've got the true and impossible adventures of Tenbrook's Morrow and a scroll of Featherfall. <laughs> Oral histories of Faerun, gift to the mind players on death and resurrection. Scroll of Shatter. Scroll of Bone Chill. Tiger Mist. Oh, I, I looted it. What, what is it that I just looted? A huge improbable peaks elude the prowling mist. What, what is, oh, is it just a painting? All right. Shabby wardrobe. We've got a carnelian ring, a bucket, a button. Uh oh. Big button. 
portrait of Marcus Miles. Let's first loot the wooden chest. Mage's friend, Arcana one, religion one. All right, quick save before we push the button. Strange place for a button, especially one that doesn't work. Let's drop this. Okay, a button that doesn't work. Hmm. Disorders of the nerves and a mind, a treatise. Okay, that's it for this level. What, uh, what do I do with this button? One with the weave. Might as well. This button must have had a use once. But was it worth reaching so far down for? <laughs> what to do? One day I'll catch a break. Okay, quick save. New sounds to the damper like a pressure break. Is it the foul? A foul contemptuous heel. <laughs> oh no, I gotta, I gotta, it's the, or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? Out of my way, I'm not interested in riddles. I'm a friend, I come in peace. I am not foul or contemptuous, but I am a foe. Let's try this, or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely way? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Come on, is he feeling? My lord, my Yay! Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as an ex-wizard, but using it to command an automaton seems a bit self-indulgent to me. <laughs> this is great. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for a while? So these are the three that we got from the play that we read. The big question is, can I ask them other questions? Let's try, what is this place? An unbeknownst command that I cannot fulfill. Gotcha, okay. Let's try holding hands. Of course, my love. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. Yes, please. Come here for just a moment. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug. 
as if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loved little so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. Oh, this now is sad. Ready, yeah. This is so sad. Entertainer, heart of the creator, Barty Horn is inspired. Okay. I gained an inspiration there. Well, I'm glad I don't have to kill these things. Broken machinery, patched parchment. The paper is torn and patched in many places, as if it was well used but treasured. On it is a small poem without a name. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. This one clatters. Can we talk to it? No. Scroll of Remove Curse, Scroll of Crown of Madness, and uh, we've got a lever. What happened? Right, the place shakes when I do that. But no idea why. And it looks like there's a room over here. These empty sheets are all that's left of you. The last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I'll hold them to them. This that I can do without it. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Can we get some sheets? Item received potion of greater healing. Okay, let's go through the rest of his dialogue. Command as you see fit, my lord. Punish. How can I trust? 
How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Do you know the name the secret show? Reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. An automaton named Bernard rewarded us with a precious ring. We received Guiding Light, which gives us the Light Evocation Cantrap, used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement. This ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. So we take this to the basement. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. I'm in its way. It tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can thrive. all sorts of cool stuff by all of these dialogue options, but then the last one I choose starts the freaking battle. Go time. High defense. God. I hit it and I did three damage. Automatons are probably weak to lightning, but I used up all my lightning spells. Seventy hit points. On my way.
lucky. Each of these has 33. Fall by my hand. Oh yeah, critical hit. But then a mess. Oh well. <laughs> All because of a freaking dialogue choice. I didn't want to fight him. Sounds pretty damn like a dark oppression break. Is it the phone? That foul contemptuous heat? Come out of love for me. Come on, this is you. Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as the next wizard, but using it to command an automaton oh yeah, seems a bit self indulgent. Of course, my love. What can I do? His arms are. Remember, you're doing great as I already have. Okay, we got experience, and now we gotta get all of this stuff again. I've never been that brave. Lever. Let's get the loot. Come on, this is you. My lord, my lady.
Empty sheets. And we get the potion. Uh, I believe it was this one. Hold on, let's quick save. Let's try the light in living in every living thing. A minute's wake, it tramples everything. Go kill the rest. Nope, that was so that the one can fly. Noah was the top one. Uh, Cyberash says, uh, killing the robot gives you one of the best halberds in the game. Also, use grease and also the spell weave to knock them off the edges. Come on, is he My lord, if you do not believe the secret show, reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. Okay, and we got the ring. Um, okay. I I'd have to get them to the edge in order to knock them off. This guy's back is against that. This guy's back. He's backed in there. This guy's, I could knock him out of a window if I time it right. He's got 70 health. Each of these have 33 health. Just, I don't even care if I get the best halberd in the game. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes on this one fight. Okay, but we did get a new ring. And we pulled a lever. This ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. Revealing darkness in the basement. Infuse an object with an aura of light. All right, let's go to the basement. My ring is up. Swift as my feet can carry me. A strange place for a button, especially one that doesn't work. All right, it's quick save. Did that do anything? A strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. Well, I know this isn't the basement, but I kind of wanted to see what this button was for. So let's uh, reload our save here. Because otherwise we're going to have to do... A long rest. Okay. Have to keep going. Still no idea what this button does, though. Okay. 
right, here we are in the basement. Are we? No, we're not in the basement yet. Is that as far as it goes? No? There we go. Dark vision, lightning bolt, false life. Journey through the jungle. To mask spores. table is Jocelyn Basilic oil fly invisibility ice knife detect thoughts an open letter on oppression and peacocks Written in a furious, sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Boulder's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry? How archaic! My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet, and yet to spend time with my child I must visit my summer home in Com Cormer. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravenguard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Uh, I think we've got like five copies of that book. Missives of Candle Key. Excavation of the Enclave of Naloth. Elminster said Naloth was a wonder to behold when it floated in Faerun sky. He was surely right. This Netherese enclave was once a jewel in the Empire of Magic, with towers that pierced the heavens, and yet it fell, just as old Netherese enclaves did, crashing down when Carsus's folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange twisted beauty. I traveled here from Halrua when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Naloth were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I have found archaic books used to make campfires, their magic lost now to the ages. I've met some Shadow Var here whose interests align with mine, and we have agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with th thick skulled adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. Then we've got some tongues of madness here. The Staff of Arcane Blessing. Mage armor, darkness, on death and resurrection, the gilded chest. Dehurst's diary, the spark ball, the wearer can't be electrocuted. Scroll of lightning, sylvan stone, ingredient in the oil of diminution. Gold, a mud method wing, wooden bark, 
and the diary. Crisp Curson fills the pages of the diary detailing the daily struggles of a cleric of Mistra studying the magical properties of the Underdark. The last entry dates back about 10 years. To Alturiac, 1481DR. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul is more likely to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts making sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra, right at the apex of my studies? I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treaties. No matter, I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear book, here together with the rest of my research, waiting to be finished. I should be back before ne before next Chez. L-D-H. Did we read the excavation of the Enclave of Naloth? I think we did. Yeah. What have we discovered? Secret basement. Okay, well, what do we cast the light on? And what does that button do? J7 says, can also go to get Yankee Crash before Moonrise for your information. If you head to Moonrise before, then you can't go back, I believe. It's all optional, though. This isn't a game you can 100% in a single playthrough. Alright, well, thank you for that. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, does that mean it's off? The lever allowed me to take the to push a button down there to the basement, but I guess I don't understand what was in the basement. Okay, they're still deactivated. Stranger says you need the automaton's ring to put on to see the button to access the basement. Oh, I see. So the ring allowed me to see the button that I would push to get to the basement. Okay, well, uh, we did everything in the arcane tower. 
we now need to go back to the Mykonod colony to complete that one quest. Is there no fast travel marker around here? Or we could go here. Oh, that leads to the mountain pass. Cataloging Koto and fertility rituals. Oh, well, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I found the mushrooms you were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelium turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. What exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Omeluum watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. Well, the last time we fiddled with our mind slugs, we got a special power. Let's drink the potion. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges. It's finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Saving throw, draw on our willpower and resist. Focus on the present, not the illusions. Um, let's focus on the present. Got to pass a 10. Let's add, uh, wow, we've got, let's do resistance and bless. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Let's roll again. Another one? Another one. Really? Is this what we're gonna do now? A four? Two, one, one, four. Two, one. I, I used all of my rerolls. I only had to meet a ten. You're sinking. Sinking into a starless void that heck? has no end. The connection between mind and body draws thin and tight. 
The tentacle spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it needs to hollow out your skull. Wow, just, just, this is so awful. We could drown the, out the tadpole by focusing on a tomb. We could resist the panic from within. We could wall off our mind from the psionic seizure. Let's focus on a tune. Just awful. We got a pass of 15 now, but at least we got two dice rolls. What? Wow, how? I had two dice rolls. I had two. A wave of psychic force batters your mind, cruel and calculating. You That's are so nothing bad. to it. You are small. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Well, I don't know what I lost or what I failed to achieve by failing all of those dice rolls. How many dice rolls was that? Like six, five or six dice rolls in a row that I failed? I felt it grow inside of me. There's more power than ever. That potion of yours could have killed me. The tadpole almost did the same. Or you were supposed to make it weaker, not stronger. Let's say that we felt it grow inside me. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all of this, and the tadpole still lodged in my brain? Indeed. Although, I may have another solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? <laughs> uh, why didn't you mention the ring before this potion debacle? Because removal seemed preferable to negation. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. Um... We could say, no, I want this power. Keep your ring. Or we could pass a bard and performance check to perform the tale of our adventures so far. The Ballad of Brains, Brine Pools, and Balderdash. Got a pass of 15. I'm rolling two dice here. I've got one, two, three, four, five different, different bonuses. Oh, finally. As Amelowan watches your performance, something stirs in his mind, unusual for an illithid. Joy. Here, it is yours. That's it, eh? Okay. May it serve you as well as it has served me. Nice. Helps not to judge a book by its cover, doesn't it? Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Okay. I've never seen anything like it, Blur. It's my species. See the ring of mind shielding. Maybe we can still go back to the others. Sh 
Shelter, you have advantage on saving throws against Charmed. This ring is forged from a smooth alien metal capped with eyes of emerald that watch the world unblinking. That's it. Gives me advantage on saving throws against Charmed? I mean... All right. Guess I'll put it there. I lost my ability to see invisibility. Not well. The nutrition my species receives from other mines is difficult to emulate. Okay, uh, well, I'm at half health now. That, that was rough. There is work to do. Take you. No time to rest. All right, Cat5 says that uh, I can get a staff for Gale if I go down this way. I want to go to camp real quick just to talk to, uh, uh, the Gith Yankee about the artifact that I found. Very Azel. Well. Speak. We can ask her about the disc from the Underdark. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tirsu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Um, I've read this one already. What do you make of it? Drivel, all of it. Gith declared Vlakith queen of the Empire, and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Mm, the story reeks of propaganda, or why are you so worked up? It's only a story. Or we could say, and if it's true, it sounds like Valkith betrayed Gith and seized the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Gosh. All right. Well, that was interesting. Have you spoken with Grace? Okay, uh, we explored, we came down through here. We haven't explored down here yet. Investigate the temple ruins, find the night song. All right. Chad is saying there was a secret room in the basement. <laughs> well, I mean, now that we've got it unlocked, we can go back, right?
arcane lights, of course. Under the stairs, huh? Well, I see the door under there, but how do I get under there? It's in water. God, the camera angles are just driving me crazy. Okay, well, I can't seem to get down there. I don't know, I see a lot of roots and scrap wood and stuff down here. I really don't see any path that I can travel. I mean, I do see that. But I don't know how to get there. Maybe I need to use Carlax? What's the story? Got it. around over here maybe okay well uh, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this I'm in the basement uh, ooh. The cameras freaking out <laughs> I don't think I can get under there, so I don't know. Viral Mag Ravager says Oxhorn top level, wear the ring to show the basement button. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm already in the basement. I already found the basement and unlocked it. Chat was saying I needed to go back because there was something under the stairs in the basement, but I, I can't seem to find a way under the stairs. So that's the only reason I came back and I don't see anything here. One second. Got to take care of something really quickly here.
Okay. That's taken care of. Viral Mag Ravager says basement button is hidden by magic separate teleport. Let's get going. I mean, there's the ring. I'm in the basement. Viral Mag Ravager. I don't think you understand where I'm at. Like I'm I'm in I'm in the basement basement. Right? So here I can I can go to the top floor. Moving in. That teleports me to the top floor. From here, the top of the arcane tower. I've got two buttons. I can descend. Or I can go to the basement. I if I click basement, I go back to this room where I already was. So I'm I am here. All right, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. <laughs> oh shoot, right, yeah, I gotta go. Ugh. I should have just done it while I was on the elevator there. Okay, we explored the arcane tower. We didn't finish exploring this area. Let's see, what is this? This is gonna lead to the mountain pass. Got a corpse, a dead drown. Half this drown's body was crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. Gold, uh, hideous laughter, and hidebound bound journal. Let's take a look at the hidebound journal. One favor, one faithful servant. That is all I summoned. No more and no less than Malice do, do Erdin ever had, or indeed the Mother of Lusts herself. The Yokal was quite a sight in all of its forms. I had read of its foul odor, but I found it intoxicating, like rose water. So it smashed a few artifacts, hissed at a master. The Archmage should have revered me for such a conjuring. Instead, he threatened to curse me, to make me a drider. Yet my time will come. Soon I will return to Mesoberanzan, and sorcerer. Then the Archmage will worship me. I will be served. Didn't turn out according to plan. What's this? talking about that. <laughs> I don't even know. What's that now? 
What are, what are you guys seeing? I'm not seeing what they're seeing. Others not follow me up there? Quite ready for you. Teleport, yay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Intriguing. Carlac is inspired. Okay. Ooh, is that a false wall? Need to find a way forward. Another illusion. Is anything like Ooh. Right. Well, I'm not sure what we've stumbled upon, but it's interesting. Putrid bog. What? Oh my god, I'm all the way back here? <laughs> I could go back and kill the granny again, I guess. I, uh, I don't think I want to deal with that. Holy cow. Wow. Uh, all right. And then we're back at the ancient barrier on the well. Well, what do you know? There was a path to the Underdark here the entire time. For Pete's sake. All right. Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, but let's keep on going. It's a dead end. Is it? Is it? Oh, can we jump down there? Looks like there's something over here. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh my god, it's right in front of my face. Okay, well, we've got a staircase going up here. Well, then what's this? No! Twenty-five. All right. Never a dull moment.
death is but a word away. longer. On my way. Okay, that thing, that thing is painful. Holy cow. But wait a minute, if it's stuck down there, can I just zap at it or does it spit? Okay, well, let's try it out. What's this? Survival instinct. Oh, 3 to 12 healing. Um, uh, let's try... Gods take you first. Put up. Well, well, look what we have here. What was that? Oh, miss. Okay. Uh, let's see. A light bomb. Oh, there we go. Something at least. The last board is set. No resistances, notable features, dark vision, opportunity attack, and territorial. So it's got no resistances, and yet my frost did two damage to it. Oh god, it shoots acid! <laughs> Crap! It shoots acid! Alright. Well. Crap. Alright, well, what now? Dear God.
worked really well. But I have to be concentrating on a blast in order to do it, or concentrating on a spell in order to do it. Targets immune to fire are unaffected. And there's nothing interesting that I have. I just need to get out of that poison. But I'm not being poisoned, am I? Can he target me from up there? I don't think he can. I guess I'll just uh, wait here. Smell blood. Damage, all right. Let's get out of the poison. Or the acid, I should say. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, right, well, if ice did very little, let's try Scorching Ray. High defense, path is interrupted. Okay, let's try Fireball. Seventeen. All right, I can I can work with seventeen. Critical mess. All right, no longer being plagued by acid. Burrow. What? It burrowed away? Oh, come on. I didn't even get to finish him off because it burrowed away? That is so lame. No rest for the wicked, I see. The big question is, can I get that chest? I'm gonna risk it. Don't stop me yet. Best be on my way. tools do I have? I've got 23. You're 
god. Finally. Cultists haven't been back here in a while. All right, we got creased page, antidote, basilisk oil, and some armor, drow studded leather. It's a light armor. On educating the faithful. I can't believe it ran away. That is so lame. Okay, let's move some of our... Hold on a second. Okay, we've got Uneducating the Faithful. An excerpt from a lengthy speech by Grand Matron Tere, first delivered in Menzo Baranzan and recorded by a Seldarine spy. Praise be to Loth, mother of all drow. Her web binds us, body and soul, and strangles the unworthy before they can draw breath. Those who stand before me have proven their worth. You shall educate all new converts to Loth's laws using any means necessary. Many of them fear the goddess, as they should, but their faith is not yet true. Their minds are simple and should be treated accordingly. They must follow the order of every priestess like a sacred decree. They must never cover their eyes and insult Loth's gift. They must honor the house that raised them from their pathetic, treasonous origins. They must keep our secrets upon pain of death. Ensure that death is public, should the time ever come. Loth smiles on those who are creative in matters of torture. Hey, that gave some inspiration to Gale. Pretty cool. Uh, now this light armor, it's not really gonna be better than anything we currently have. Then we've got a creased page. Dark Mother, Weaver of Destiny, offer us a blessing to slay your foes. May they be strangled by the threads of fate and dyed red in your image. Loth be praised. I just have too much stuff. Silver necklace, hand crossbow, skeleton. Backpack, nothing in there. Okay, well, I guess I could blow that away. Not, I guess I can't blow it away. Step carefully. There's a trap. 
Hey, good looking. Whatever it takes. Mm. I'll go this way. Your desire. Right away. No one stopped me yet. A long way to go still. Group heal. Okay, quick save. All right, what now? If not over, then through. Petrified drow. Oh, what are we getting ourselves into? A big castle up there. Um, can we cure this guy? Is there anything we can put on there to like cure it? <clears throat> Animal speaking, uh, ocean dye, colors, sharpness, arrow of ice. Antidote. Neutralizes poisons. Um, Dimunation, indigo dye, basilisk oil. Extracted from... Turns a petrified creature back to its original form. There we go. is on our side, Artemets. 118 health. God, why? <laughs> Are we terrified? What is this? Surprised, yeah. Lobster Monster with a super tip. Thank you so much, Lobster Monster. Dear God, what, a, what even is this, man?
Nice. Out of sight. Target is out of sight? What? Blinded, has disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay, well, I mean, I can, I can damage it, but... I can't cast any spells. Alright, uh, I need to dispel this darkness. Uh... can't cast my spells because there's too much darkness. Um. Unleash me. But I don't see any spells that like cause cast a light. I think he might have some, but it's not his turn. Okay, there we go. I'm no longer blinded. But I still can't use this ability because he's... There we go. Oh, I got this interrupted.
Brad Ludwig says attack at range to keep out of the darkness. Move magic users out of the dark. I mean, if I do that, I can't target them. I, I moved Barty Horn out of the dark, but I can't target him. So watch, I'll move him out of the dark. Shall be done. I'm no longer blinded, but I can't target him with my spells. Path is interrupted. It's because I can't see in the dark. The darkness is surrounding this guy. Path is interrupted. Oh, I can do magic missile. No, I can't do magic missile either. Wait, yeah, I can. There we go. I can do magic oh, missile. Um. Yeah, and I can't target him with that because he's out of sight. If I bring my melee characters into the darkness, I can still attack, but I can't target him from outside the darkness. Brad Ludwig says, can you attack the hex he's in for AOE? Yeah, I could do that, but uh, I, my guys are surrounding him. Look, he's almost, he's got 25 health left, and he's outside of the darkness now. So, I'm feeling good about this. Let's see. Let's end this. There we go, 60%. Five damage. God, it's hot in here. and he brings a spectator. Squit, quite ruined by ambush. Now, you are? <clears throat> um, I'm Barty Horn, and you're welcome for the rescue. Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist me. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! Saved failed, saved failed arcana. All right, um, uh, what's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years, and it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Um, do you speak of the Adamantine Forge? It's still hidden as far as I know. Impossible. My rivals would have stopped at nothing. Unless... Huh. The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no. They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. Um... Alone? 
Do you still need your rival's research? They knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, true enough. But I know its location. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or... almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me. But I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Wonderful compliment, you moron. We just, we just defeated this creature. Where is he? For Pete's sake, what a moron. Why would he do this? <laughs> Why? He's just asking us to kill him. Mr. Rill. What an idiot. Just, just <laughs> why would he do that? God. We've got the spectator's eyes, very rare. Grants us the Ray of Fear, a level three necromancy spell, and Wounding Ray, a level three necromancy spell. Spectators are hideous aberrations that float above the ground, fiercely staring around and shooting beams at anything they don't appreciate. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Now, what about this body right there? Artemen Zet. Short bow, leather helmet, leather armor, silver necklace. Never wanted the easy path. The blast pendant, lightning blast. Cool. Simple robe. Supply pack, hey. Memory shard. Icy hell. What is this? The ice cold handle of what must once have been a staff. A single screw sticks out from the top. That sounds like part of a weapon that I could piece together. That's cool. Well, uh. Who should I give this to? Ray of Fear and Wounding Ray? I haven't been using Saloon's Dream, so let's give that to him. Wanna dance? What next? Oh. What is that? Breathing, despite everything. Survival fail. I'm, I'm feeling survival on all these I guys. I'm well, ready. Let's try and get it on this one. Onward. Survival failed. Lost in thought. Drow poison, arrow of acid, and gold. Now, the big question is, what is Attention. down hey. here? Huh. Huh. Okay, well, that's where I come from, right? I came from here, right? Did I come from here? I think I came from here. Yeah, I come from here. Well, but I need to go back. Oh. <laughs> My 
work, Earl Hart. What's next? This way. Well, my characters are all pooped. Out of heels. Let me work my magic. I'd love to, thanks. Looking ahead. He's got some heels. Song of Rest. Well, I mean, only Gale needs to be healed, so I'll save the Song of Rest for now. Wow, my Bard heal really sucks. Quick save there. Another step forward. Mm. Mm. Well, do we dare use the Basilic Potion on all of these guys? Mm. Do we have to fight him? Why do we have to fight him? Boy, I don't want to fight him. I want to talk to him. What do I have to lose? Damn. Party Horn's pretty good. <laughs> That's melee combat. I just released you. Why would you attack me? Two critical misses. Lame. Can't give up. Moving. Whoops! Well, I killed him, but I accidentally got her as well. Right, Moist got an oil of, an oil of accuracy, a Peridot ring. Well, jeez. I mean, now they're petrified. I want to save them, but they're all going to attack me. Let's go, in.
Drow Hood, dexterity saving throws. all of them. Hmm. Aha. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Time to press ahead. Bad Ludwig says, assemble the weapon slash staff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I got a, a staff thing. Um, but I don't know what goes into it. Okay, there's the icy helve. And there's the topaz. What do you put into it? Combine. They all have ice in the name. Okay. Well, I don't even... Do I have all of the pieces? I don't think I do. management is the bane of my existence. Memory shard. Laura Evolution says you can just click the empty boxes in the combine menu and it'll show the options. Oh. Sort by type, they should be together. Vice, scroll of ice, on sloth, gluttony, and vice, sword of justice, and the amulet of lost voices. <laughs> Brad says, can you type ice in your inventory search bar? I just did. Oh, here we go. Arrow of ice, scroll of ice, on sloth, sword of justice, the amulet of lost voices, no items found. I don't have all the pieces, sadly. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times.
Laura says, Oxhorn, Icy Crystal, Icy Helve, and Icy Metal. All right, well, I don't have the other two. I, I've only got the Icy Helve. Okay. Fascinating that such a seemingly valuable object has proven so difficult to track down. Indeed, treasure hunters the realm over have traveled to the Sword Coast with one goal in mind, to find the Night Song. Yet each by each, they have failed, indicating dead ends, rebuffs, or else disappearing together. My latest inquiry was with a half-orc named Grali, who insisted he'd come as close as possible to the relic as one may go without forfeiting his or her life. He indicated that the object is not, as most reports indicate, in the Selunite Fort adjacent to the river Schwanthar. It is, in fact, held in an old Sharan fortress somewhere in the environs of Moonrise Towers. However, Drayley reported that some kind of potent shadow prevents one from approaching where this fortress might be. Brad Ludwig says you can type ice in your inventory search bar. I just tried that. Cat5 says you have them all, lol, at the bottom. Icy crystal. Icy metal. Oh, you're right. I do. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Nope. What are you doing out here? What do you mean you can't get there? No. Let's go. All right. Who did I give it to? Did I give it to her? No. Did I give it to... Direct me. Him? No. Did I give it to her? Mm. Yes. No time to rest. Frost. Very rare, 1 to 12 damage, um, 1d8 bludgeoning, 1d4 cold. Heart of Ice, when dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional 1 cold damage. Insidious Cold, dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. Oh no. Uh, I get the Rhea Frost evocation, Cantrap, and Topple. Alright, let's give that to... Gail? Yes? Alright, looks cool. Thank you, chat. Very helpful. Still alive. So that's progress. Have to keep going. Just opened the gate and allowed this guy in. What the heck? He's almost dead. If the dice roll in my favor. Let's test this out. Cool. 
night to King Five. I'm heating up. Critical hit! Nice! Wow. Okay. Well, thankfully, he was a damaged Minotaur. What have we discovered here? What do you mean, target is blocked? Choose destination. A little help, please. There we go. Wits and blades always sharp. At least things have stayed interesting. Wow, that was awful. Note to self, don't step outside. And that's it, I'm out of health. I need to do a long rest. <laughs> Found a waypoint, yay! Pushing the healing. Failed logbook, or faded logbook. Log 124, signs of life near the outpost. Intelligent, clearly trying to hide. Log 125, still can't find the mysterious shapes. They know how to cover their tracks, possibly drow. The next few entries are too faded to read. Led them south, rumors of a spectator there. Let the Underdark solve its own problems. Log 130, no sightings. Log 131, no sightings. Log 132, Minthe saw statues down south shaped like drow. Spectators shouldn't do that. By the way, that's one less problem to worry about. Thankfully, we've already encountered that. I guess we came up the back way. <laughs>
Brad says, did you click the waypoint? No, do I need to? Out of sight? Okay, uh, let me click it. Don't burn yourself. Infuriating. I can see it. <coughs> I can see it. But it says there's not enough room and that the path is interrupted. Not enough space. Not enough space. See if I can find another way in a minute. <clears throat> Tattered notes. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines yet. Just as the drow had almost broken through, Jaras rallied the last of the initiates and charged forth. For a moment, the caravan, or I'm sorry, the cavern shone with Saloon's own brilliance. I'd have gladly gone with them, wound or no, but Jaras bade me stay and hold the gate until his return. I am to keep the records, too. I'll save space to write of his victory. It's been days, hours, since we collapsed the tunnel. They were supposed to return after the battle. I cannot dig it out on my own. My eyes won't get used to this darkness, but I can hear them stripping the dead. I'm sorry. I haven't learned the death rites yet, but I will hold the gate, I promise. This final entry is barely visible, more faint scratches than legible writing. Sorry. Bla uh, Brad Ludwig says, uh, Cat5 says, Crack in the Wall by Blue Mural. Jump there. All right. Just another crate. Crack in the wall by the 
blue mural. Try to jump there. I was trying to do it the hard way. Okay, push of healing, push of mind reading. Best avoid that trap. my lock picker and my trap guy and I can't get him up there. It's because I'm encumbered? No, I'm not encumbered yet. Disarm the trap. Now, I need to lockpick. Try again. Luminous armor, medium armor, 15 armor class, radiating shockwave. When the wearer deals radiant damage, they cause a radiant shockwave. That might be good for my cleric. Acid vial. What's next, I wonder? But she's wearing heavy armor, isn't she? Yeah, it's 17 armor class. Well, do I really miss out on this armor class? Um, just so that she can get a bonus to her radiant damage? No, and none of my other characters who can wear this cause radiant damage. So not really worth it. Never a dull moment. All right, let's get down if we can. God, how am I gonna get down? I can't misty step back. Can I feather fall? Ah, so many freaking spells, man. Move curse. Oh, dear God. Feather fall. Door, ox, says, says cat five. Oh, there's a door up there? Oh. That's curious. A magic door. 
path. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gilded chest. of smiting when you apply a condition with one of your smite spells you gain temporary hit points equal to your charisma modifier constitution saving throws plus one medium armor I mean I don't have any smite spells but again my cleric no time to waste When healing another, the wearer ga regains one to six hit points. Uh, I mean, that's really useful. Does she even have any smiting spells? Sacred Flame, is that smite? It's not smite. Guiding Bolt, that's not smite either. So, I don't know if I should be using that on her either. Get going. One day I'll catch a break. Saloon murals are really creepy. Okay, I think that's everything down here. Let's quick save and then try and go through here. Getting tired there, Barty Horn? <laughs> As reference material for the temple archive, this logbook contains transcripts of magical sendings from the temple to the depths below. This record seems to be an exchange dating from near the temple's foundation. Jaras, enough foolishness. A new temple with settlers to guide, and you'd rather scrabble in the dark below? We're clerics of Saloon. Act like it, M. 
Morna, the lady lights the way. What is this underdark but a path her light hasn't touched yet? Come, we can debate theology in the new chapel. New chapel? Those materials were meant for the temple proper, not your playground down there. What am I to tell the House of the Moon? Tell them to start packing. There are caverns below here to dwarf the inner cathedral. The builders are almost done, and so we go deeper. Enough, Initiate. The Underdark is no place for games. Those are novices with you, not silver stars. Return immediately. Initiate, don't ignore me. I know you took ample components for ascending. Respond. Jairus, respond. Fortified what we can, but wards won't last. Seal the tunnel and do not follow. You were right. This place belongs to them. Jarus, hold fast. Whatever it is, I'm sending reinforcements. Just hold on. No, no more death. Ordered novices to collapse the tunnel. You'd be proud of them. Forgive me. We only meant to spread her light. Jarus, high initiate of the Lady of Light. Of the Lady's Light. Ooh, dear. Well, they tried to fight back the darkness. There's clearly something beyond this door. Can I not open it from this side? I guess I can't open it from this side. Is that blood? Well, that makes no, this a dead mind. end. All right, back we you go. Find a way forward. Journal update, find the night song. Trail goes cold in the Underdark. Where is the Night Song? I need to explore the Underdark. We've got the Susar Bark. Now we need to head back to the Forge. That's the Nautiloid Crash region. The Grim Forge leads to an ancient temple. Perhaps the truth of what happened to the Dark Justicars can be found there. God, there's just so much to do. All right, if we want to go this way, we're going to have to get rid of these. So... Moonstone. Acolyte, shatter the moon. Shadowheart is inspired. Alright, she... <laughs> I probably didn't make any points with uh, the followers of Saloon, but... She liked it uh, that I shattered a moonstone there. Well, I should really... Staff of the Moon Maiden. Ooh, what's all this stuff? Journal of High Initiate Jaris. Oh, the guy we read about. It always felt vainglorious to think my deeds worthy of a personal journal, but as I watched the drow mass outside our gate, I realized my arrogance is already of a far costlier sort. 
I see no harm in tipping the scales a little further. Not for me, but for those who followed me down into the dark. They deserve to be remembered. Initiate Norn Remis, lost in the deep tunnels as we fell back from the drow. Initiate Thulk of the Northern Wastes, grazed by an arrow and succumbed to poison. Initiate Bree Brecca, who stood against a drider with only her mason's hammer. And initiates they are, the entire company, for they have seen and suffered too much to be called novices. We've collapsed the tunnel behind and have made ready to open the gate. Perhaps we can carve a path through. And if not, I enclose a list of names. Let the annals show that whatever their end, the cause was the same. One high initiate Jarus wished to stamp his name in the history of his, of his church. He sought to forge a path through the darkness, not realizing there are some places the light was never meant to touch. He was a fool. Well, I wonder if I didn't destroy that moonstone, if I would have been able to put it in this new staff that I found. That might be worth a look. Rocky crevice. Broken wall. Not a chance I'll fit in there. All right, so that's just gonna. Do I do I bother? Ah, an excellent choice. Who has the hand? Did I lose my hand spell? Well, well, well. I don't think I bother. I think it just goes into the into this, which I already explored. Because there's a broken wall right there. To do. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Carrying too much. Okay, Ancient Cellunite Journal. And I'm again encumbered. I can't sleep without the moon and stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever knew Saloon's name. Is that blasphemy? When I walk the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes. Out there, waiting. I know the High Initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Moon Maiden Fair, lend us your light to guide us home in the dark of night, to keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever. The last line of the prayer succumbs to blurring, as if stained by something wet. Well, I'm encumbered, I need a long nap, and I'm out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and do a hard save here. And when we return, we will have to get rid of all of our stuff, do a long sleep, and then continue exploring, exploring the Underdark. We're not on our way out yet. We've still got so much more to do. Thank you all for joining me for today's broadcast of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, for tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings and Thanksgiving. I guess it'll be a Thanksgiving-inspired episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. We're going to be continuing playing Separate Ways for Resident Evil 4. That's the plan. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. 
Don't miss it. I'm working on a lore video for the weekend, and I think I will get it done in time. And it's not going to be a Starfield one. So you're going to want to tune in on Saturday morning to find out what it is. Thanks, everybody, for joining me and sticking with me. Thanks for all of your super chats and being patient with me in chat while I navigate this very alien game. I appreciate all of the tips and tricks that you guys have been giving me. Even if I feel or sound frustrated at times, I do deeply appreciate them. Thanks to everybody on Twitch who tuned in today. All of your follows, all of your sparks, I see them all and I appreciate them. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.